So it turns out that MAC address filtering is not working on my router because I didn't set it up for certain devices. And the next thing you know, that device is connecting to the internet. And I'm like, well, that should be blocked. Turns out they were spoofing that page. So I was right, sort of, I think. No matter what, I was right, but I was wrong about WPS. Wow, big deal. All I'm saying is, who's ready for a cyber attack on day one? Like, scary cyber attack. We don't know what to do. Um, this is that serious. We don't know if we need to cut off part of the internet and make people crazy. I am. Joe Biden's not. I saw Joe Biden say, I'm the most ready on day one. Who's the most ready militarily as far as military mind? Odd enough, maybe me. As crazy as it sounds. Why? Because I've thought about it so much. I, I have an outside the Naval War College mindset. mindset and I, I do understand all the military stuff. And so, you know, I, I think I am ready for that. Who is ready to save our economy on day one? Who thinks our economy is actually super scary? I anybody else? Who thinks everyone's economy is super scary? That's kind of the point that the world's economies have reached. And so my idea for this two currency system is me being ready on day one. I'm talking so loud because someone told me I didn't talk loud enough. Um, more than anything though, what am I really ready for? Actually solving problems. Like actually worrying about water levels going down in certain, in certain areas. Actually worrying about oil. Actually worrying about sharing responsibility with the American people by communicating with them. Because do we need to communicate with people about our problems? Yeah, like you guys are burning, burning way too much fuel. We need to cut back. So I do realize I'm not ready on day one as far as having a tailor to dress, to dress me. And that's the real issue is I, I need to find a hairdresser and stuff. So like that's the kind of thing that I'm not ready for is to have to wear a tie. So hopefully I'm not going to wear a tie. I'm going to dress Andrew Yang style. But uh, well, sometimes, sometimes I just might wear normal clothes. Um, I guess at work you kind of have to wear nice clothes if you're president. But all I'm saying is I am ready on day one. And I, I think Joe Biden, odd enough, is the least ready on day one because he's so old and tired. And his brain's not functioning very well. Um, I know everyone's going, well, hey, that's, that's ageist. Is everyone that old? Joe Biden specifically has had age hit him harder than the other candidates. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Elizabeth Warren is going to be my partner in crime if I get the nomination. So am I going to have a 70 year old with me all the time? Like your vice president's not with you all the time. Vice president's in charge of the Senate. You don't understand that. I know everyone thinks I don't understand the government as much as I do, but I do actually understand the government. And she will be with me all the time because she's going to like, who is my number one advisor? If Elizabeth Warren becomes my vice president. Elizabeth Warren. Why? Because she's my lawyer and she knows her way around Washington, D.C. So yeah, I might not know where the best bagel shop is and I might not know where the office of whatever is. Um, everyone's concerned about me having dyslexia. Well, my vice president's not going to have dyslexia and my chief of staff's not going to have dyslexia and maybe some of my advisors will have a dyslexia, which will be a good thing because... We will think outside of the box. Uh, we will hit things from different angles. But um, will Sundar Pichai be a, one of my top advisors? If I actually said his name right. Yes. Why? He, like, he, is, he was born into the tech world. He grew up around electronics. Me, I, I grew up with a computer. That's like I, my, my world is computer world. His world is transistor world. And so I need guys like that, but also he's, he's a liberal arts science guy. So I, 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 like, I, I realize how far I am technologically 
compared to the people I need to be able to have conversations with. But at least I've made it to the point that I can talk to them. Everyone who's running for president can't talk to them. And why does no one understand how important it is to be able to talk to them? It's because you don't understand technology. Technology is that complex. I mean, it's, it's, it's really hard to explain how complex memory is. And I'm ready to have the United States government working with me to the point that when I am searching for process me memory for unlinked DLLs, they actually tell me, hey, this is how easy it is to fix. Like, it'd be nice instead of having them at a distance from me. Um, cause I want them working with me. And I, I realize everyone's going, you have a, you're, you're going to go into the government and be, be a battle, be in a battle with them. And yes, I'm going to find the truth. I will find the truth about a lot of things like the Austin bomber. I, I want to know a lot of truth, but I'm actually going to be a lot more concerned with cutting oil consumption and making sure that our, our people survive and someone that's young enough that they will be alive when the oil runs out needs to start needs to be in charge to make those decisions because everyone else you will all be dead when the oil runs out i won't and that's why i'm so serious about it so that's what you know about me i'm serious about saving the planet and number two you know i'm not gonna get rid of abortion like that's that's for sure there's no way in hell i would ever choose a supreme court justice who is against who, who is against abortion that that's just without a doubt, because I'm so concerned with population control it has nothing to do with religion. Am I going to take away people's re religious freedom? I am all about religious freedom. You can believe the craziest crap in the world, but as long as you're not like really hurting people with your religion, there are cults that are very, very dangerous. But for the most part, I am extreme in the, in the belief that, um, you, you should have religious freedom. I, but I'm also extreme that you shouldn't be able to destroy my ability to survive because you want to consume too much.